All right. Well, first up is the author of her second book with us. This book is called The New Management Blueprint, Spark Talent to Ignite Winning Teams and Create Valuable Results. Michelle Hoffman. Hello, Michelle. Well, hello, Dr. Angela Loria. I absolutely love that you're talking about sparking the light and bringing in the light of hope and transformation. I feel like I'm stealing from you. I didn't mean to, but it's in the air. That's your, tell me what your little moniker is. The spark, spark. That's just the thing. People are calling me the light, the spark lady. (laughs) <laughs> or the light, the spark lady. Every time I see that, I'm like, that is so what the world needs now. It's perfect. So here's my second book, The New Management Blueprint, Spark Talent to Ignite Winning Teams and Create Valuable Results. And it's all about everything that you're talking about that the whole world needs right now. So tell us about the book. Who is it for? Why did you write it? How, uh, how have you been putting it out there? And what are your plans for the book? Mm-hmm. I'm very, very excited about the opportunities that this book is opening up. I help business owners, high impact CEOs, HR managers, anyone who's in charge of ensuring that the management in the organization is increasing employee engagement, developing strong teams that excel at peak performance, who can nimbly navigate complex variables. There's so much change management happening right now in the corporate world. And I realize that where I can make the biggest impact in the world, especially during this changing world time, is that I can help companies achieve the big results that they're looking for, while the CEOs at the same time, I can give them the freedom to remain in their zone of genius and make sure their management and the management teams are being the showcase employees, meeting all the key performance indicators they were hoping for. What's changed in business in the last three months? It's been about three months that businesses, many businesses have moved to a work from home situation. How do you think that's changed uh, between increasing number of people working from home, increasing unemployment rates, so totally different labor market than there's been? What are some of the changes you're seeing out there? So uh, you've hit a couple of of the high points, but here's the reality of it. Even before this pandemic in the world occurred, there was only about 70% employee engagement happening. And, you know, that's not for lack of trying. It's just a matter of fact of how engaged employees are. And that's literally costing, you know, millions and billions of dollars, depending on the size of the organization. And I could narrow that down to basically organizations are losing $3,400 in every $10,000 of salary they're spending. So to then have a workforce who's suddenly working remotely, they don't have that office engagement, the office support, the, um, the meetings that happen, Uh, not only the structure, the content, but the context of that's happening in a meeting. Also, what happens organically when there's communications that go uh, sidebar communications, reassuring that you've got this. Uh, Remote employees don't have the luxury of those non-project related communications and conversations with their peers, which then engages support and collaboration in events. 10 years ago, we were talking about how we need to do more with less. And now we need to do so much more with so much less. Meanwhile, these employees are working remotely. They're working in their living rooms. They may have roommates, spouses. They might also- Children. Children. They might need to homeschool their kids, suddenly become- teachers and entertainers. The living room is also the gym, the entertainment center. They have cute animals that are like, oh, you're staying home. How do you then increase engagement and focus to get the work done? 
I love that. Well, you have provided some guidelines with the new management blueprint. Before I let you go, I can't miss the opportunity to ask this. You've done two books with us. We've mm -hmm. worked together for almost a year and a half now. Are there any things that you would like to share if somebody's thinking about working with the author incubator about whether or not this has been a good experience and any advice you might share with someone? Yeah, it's super, you know, there are some situations where the path that you're looking for opens up and there's a clear light shining on it. I wanted to write a book. I knew I needed, there was a book in me that needed to come out. It was my legacy, my first book, Life Worth Living. It, it needed to be written. It was the guide I didn't have. So I thought about this and realized, well, I've got some pretty advanced business degrees, but I don't necessarily have an English degree. And I, social media is a whole new world. So what's that? Three or four more educations that I could then invest in myself to get the education to actually write an effective book that will make a difference in the world. And then when I found the author incubator, what I learned is that's where the clear path with the light shining on it really is because it's the, it's exactly what you need. It's a precision tool for the job. That's what I found in the author incubator and so much more. There's guidance and you can accomplish so much more with a really strong coach so much faster than if you try to figure it out yourself. I found a community that I never would have found this powerhouse of people who can actually manifest change in the world. There's an incredible resource of experts who are editors who, oh my gosh, if I didn't have my developmental and managing editors who I did. I Any might... shout outs you want to do there? Yes, I do. I've got Mariah Howe and Bethany Davis and Aura. Um, if I had not participated in the author incubator, I would have written the wrong book. It would have been a really hard road for me. So, and Dr. Angela Loria, no matter what, you have the skill set to tell us what we need to hear, even if it's hard, because you're guiding us along the road. Again, a precision tool for the job. This is what you need to know. You don't need to go off and learn these other things. This is what you need to know. It makes it a very clear path. It's a very nice. straight path. Thank you. Awesome. Well, we're so excited about your book. Let's show people the cover one more time. Yeah, I'm so excited to the link below the new management blueprint, spark talent to ignite winning teams and create valuable results. Michelle Hoffman. Whoop, whoop. Thank, Thank you so much for everything, Angela. You are welcome.